Moncala was the oceanic homeworld to the Mon Calamari and Quarren people. It also bolstered a wealth of resources that were used in their famous shipyards. For this reason, it played a key role in most major conflicts, both in the Clone Wars and Galactic Civil War. However, this does beckon the question, how do you invade this mysterious world? Now, for this battle plan, we're actually going to be taking on the role of the Galactic Empire. And yes, the Empire did actually invade Von Kala during the early years of its founding, and they did technically succeed. However, its victory was very costly, both in terms of Imperial loss of life and just general destruction of the planet's resources. Not to mention the ships that they allowed to escape later played a key role in the fall of the Empire. If you want to know more about this, check out the link on screen now, but we're going to be talking about how to invade the world more successfully in my opinion anyways. So without any further ado, let's continue. Now your objective for this invasion is to claim the world for the Empire. You want to seize all assets and you want to do so relatively intact. Now, you can actually take a pretty big leap out the Separatists invasion plan, as theirs was actually pretty impressive. The biggest thing to remember is that this world is very much alien to you. Moncala technology is strange and deadly, as is the locals' ability to use the environment to their advantage. So you need allies, people who are familiar with this unique ecosystem. Luckily for you, there are two main species on the world, the Mon Calamari and the Quarren, and they haven't always seen eye to eye, particularly in the Clone Wars. Moncala is ruled by a royal family of Mon Calamari. The leader at this time is King Lee Cha, and he was greatly contested before for taking the throne in the Clone Wars. Now, both the Quarren and the Mon Calamari are incredibly loyal to the royal family, so you need to stir up trouble. Using ISB assassins, you want to kill Li Cha. In this act, you want to frame the Quarren as being behind it, possibly using a Quarren to do the job. Essentially, I don't think it would take a great deal of work to reignite these past conflicts between the two. This was possibly one of the Separatists' most genius parts of their invasion plan, and one that you should definitely take note of. Essentially, you're going to be igniting a civil war between the Quarren and the Mon Calamari. Now, you just have to pick a side, whichever leans more to your needs. The Quarren, who are naturally more militant, or the Mon Calamari, who likely have a greater right to the throne. Realistically, the Mon Calamari are the more powerful of the two, so I'm going to say that you're going to join them. However, secretly, you're going to be supplying the Quarren with resources to ensure neither side can assure victory. You want to give the Quarren just enough resources to make them a significant enough threat against the Mon Calamari government. At this point, the Mon Calamari will be forced to ask the Imperials for intervention to put the Quarren Revolt down. So this gives you a very, very powerful ally. And of course, as far as the Mon Calamari know, you're just there to help. You're not planning on taking over the world afterwards. So first things first, as always, you're going to blockade the world. And it's going to have to be a pretty strong blockade at that. Remember, there are countless merchant vessels on this world. And the last thing you want is for these assets to escape. Now, invading the world itself is going to be difficult still. However, you now have the Mon Calamari in your support. This is very useful as it's going to ensure that you won't lose mass amounts of Imperial troops in their perilous ecosystem. For example, in the Empire's actual assault on the world, the Mon Calamari literally destroyed the entirety of Dax City using giant whale-like creatures. So hopefully, since you have the Mon Calamari's aid, the Quarren won't be able to do the same thing against you. So you're going to be offering your resources to help the Mon Calamari secure the world. And officially, this is going to help protect against the Quarren Rebellion. However, realistically, you're just going to be putting yourself in a position of power. Big target for you is going to be the Mon Cala shipyards. Have these placed under Imperial protection, you can have them locked down, the weapons disabled, and essentially that's an entire merchant fleet that you've just got when you do eventually take over the world completely intact. From here, you want to secure the surface cities, such as Dax City. This is essential as a staging point for your attack. Remember, your troops can't breathe underwater, and you need something to be able to launch TIE Fighters from, so a large platform such as Dax City is perfect. You may also want to use them as prison camps for Quarren. This will hopefully deter the Quarren from attempting to destroy the city. Now, realistically, since you're going to be supplying the Quarren with resources, the actual civil war on the world would be pretty easy to win. You'd simply give them enough power to hurt the Mon Calamari until the Mon Calamari government decides to give you, the Imperial military, more control. Now, unfortunately, we know very, very little about the Imperials' ability to fight underwater. 
We know that they do have scuba troops, we know that they do have submarines, however past that we're quite limited. So most of the fighting is probably going to be done with Mon Calamari technology as most of their weapons and ships are all capable of fighting under sea. The biggest piece of advice you need to remember in this campaign is to remain vigilant. You're going to want round the clock patrols of your facilities by Imperial submarines and sonar scans taken from TIE fighters flying above. Remember those oceans are deep and will work as amazing cover for the enemies of the Empire to hide in. And they're going to attempt to win the war by ambushing you relentlessly until victory is achieved. That's how the Mon Calamari managed to beat the Empire so many times during their campaign of the world in the actual timeline. For this reason surveillance is essential, as with an early warning system in place their attacks will fall beneath prepared Imperial firepower. Now eventually Imperials will be fully implemented into the security of the world. At this point you can cease funding the Quarren Rebellion, meaning that the Empire and Mon Calamari can quickly defeat them. And this is the point where you double cross the Mon Calamari and take power for the Empire itself. By this point you can lock down their shipyards, and you can quickly have the Mon Calamari leaders such as Radis and Akbar, who would definitely be causing trouble, arrested and probably executed. What you're basically doing is what Palpatine did to the entire galaxy, you're just going to do it on one world. Your entire objective here is to simply trick the Mon Calamari into giving you power and then you can turn on them. Now inevitably you will be met with resistance. And it's going to be very difficult to defeat them, I won't lie, but your blockade will cut them off from resources and aid. They also won't have many capable military commanders as you'll have dealt with them during the early days of your takeover. Not only this, but there'll still be hard feelings between the Mon Calamari and the Quarren, so you should be able to hold them at bay. But what do you think of this plan? I personally found it very difficult to come with an effective way to take over this world using a military alone, as it's incredibly mysterious and the Imperials aren't exactly renowned for their ability to fight under the sea. And this is probably why Tarkin chose orbital bombardments in our own timeline. However, I believe by using a bit more of a cloak and dagger technique, the Imperials' venture to Moncala would have been far more profitable. But let me know what you think. Would it work? And how would you choose to invade this world? Let me know in the comments below. Hello. Thanks for watching, please remember to like, share and sub if you did enjoy this, it's really appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Also don't forget to follow me on Twitter at TheLawGuy and tick the bell for regular updates. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.